Hello gamers, it is I, Tabor, and today we have information on the Phase 2 of version 1.5. So currently, we have the Wind Trace event going on. It is the Prop Hunt mode. Make sure to do some of that so you can get your Primo Gems. We also have the Battlefront Misty Dungeon event starting on the 21st, and you must be Adventure Rank 20 or above. Travelers may assemble a team with the specific trial characters provided and challenge six trials with different themes. Complete the trial quests to obtain rewards such as Primo Gems, Hero's Wit, and talent level up materials. Of course, we also have the Eula banner starting on the 18th at I believe 7 p.m. Eastern time. Don't quote me on that, but the daylight savings time messes with these times and it's just really annoying. I wish they'd just base them off of regional times instead of basing it off of uh, GMT, I think is what they do. Um, it just makes everything really hard to calculate, but I'm pretty sure it's 7 p.m. Eastern time, um, which would make it 4 p.m. Pacific time. Um, it will have Xinyan, Xing Cho, and Beto, which are all pretty good characters, I'd say, especially Xing Cho. Um, so if you don't have any Xing Cho constellations, now would be the time, especially if you're going for Eula. Um, the weapon banner also changes, and the focuses will be the Song of Broken Pimes and the Aquila of Favonia, which are coincidentally really great weapons for physical characters, um, and we've got a new physical set. Um, the Song of Broken Pines will probably be Eula's best in slot, and Aquila Favonia is really good for, like, physical cooching, or, uh, or even Jean. And, of course, we also have our four-star focuses on the weapon banner, which will include the Sacrificial Sword, the Rain Slasher, Dragon's Bane, Sacrificial Fragments, and Rust. Also, Eula is getting a story quest, which will also begin when her banner starts, and will be available permanently afterwards. And all the requirements you have are that you have to be... Adventure rank 40 or above, and you must have completed Prologue Act 3, Song of Dragon and Freedom. This is the Mimi Tomo event, which I find very interesting, because if you look in the bottom left there, right next to him, he's got a home move next to him, which is actually something from Honkai Impact. So I don't know if this is going to slightly tie into Honkai Impact, or if that's just a little Easter egg there, but I find it very interesting. It's the mysterious Hilly Churl. We have seen him, um, he's very hard to find, but there's an achievement associated with him. Um, I'm, I wonder if this event will let us get that achievement um, easier, because it's pretty hard to find him currently. But it'll be starting on the 27th, and it'll be going till the 6th of June. And then there's a quest associated with it at the end too for a couple days. Um, during this event, you will complete the investigation of the unusual hilly churl to obtain rewards such as leeway style furnishing, blueprints, primo gems, hero's wit, and mora. So if you uh, want some more blueprints for your sarin teapot, you're going to be able to get some from the unusual hilly churl. We also have the overflowing mastery event, which is basically just double talent book materials, kind of like how we had the double uh, XP. The XP book materials that one week um, back in was that 1.3? I think that was 1.3. I don't remember, but that will be starting on the 31st and will be going till the 7th of June. Basically, you're just gonna be able to use your original resin, so don't make a bunch of condensed resin and then try to use it because that's not how it works. So just use original resin and you will obtain double the output. So, anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. There is the second half of 1.5. Seems like we have some pretty interesting events coming up. And of course, Eula. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are excited for her. I know I am. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all later.